Yo, 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 what's up, Thrill Seekers? Back at it again, and we are out to the flying field. Give you a quick little spin a rooney. And today we have two nano talons. One is the V tail, one is the jet tail, aka the standard tail. And uh, we're going to be comparing the two. Right off the bat, I'm going to say that it's not a fair comparison, and this is why. Your stock V tail look at the surface i'm going to touch it with one finger you see how much flex is in the surface that's going to translate into your flight characteristics it's going to be really loose and sloppy so i feel the v-tail is a good configuration if it's reinforced just uh using a magnet to hold that on there i don't feel like is is good um in comparison we're going to show you the jet tail I call it the jet tail because anybody who has an EDF knows your two elevator surfaces, each one has a servo and they're on opposite sides of your exit of the EDF hole. So I'm gonna call that the jet tail. Comparison, look, I'm pushing it. There's no flex in the surface. So it's gonna be more um, rigid. The surface is more rigid, which means your flight is probably gonna be a lot more stable versus this one where you barely tap it. I mean, you can almost flatten this thing out. So there, the more weight you put in here, the more you flex you're putting on this surface. It isn't gonna come off, but it is a lot of flex in there. Other than that, they're basically the same. There's no differences between the two of these except for the tail has been changed on them. Uh, the jet tail weighs a lot more <laughs> than the V-tail. So that's one thing with the V-tail is um, it's a lighter package, but if you reinforce the V-tail, is it still a lighter package? I don't know. Stay tuned guys.